Okay, today I want to make another video about the Rolls Royce Phantom and it's going to be a review. Not just a review of the car, a review of the technical problems you might uh, experience if you decided to get this used car with miles on it. This car has 96,000 miles and I can tell you, even though it looks pretty good for its age and everything, but uh, it has exactly the same problems as any BMW 760, all the exact same problems. Uh, let's start from the engine. Let me open the hood. Mm. The rest of the car is pretty much the same like 760. It's that, of course, it's premium leather. You can see it's better wood and uh, other things. Uh, I would say the entertainment system in 7 series is better. Look under the hood. Here we see just a standard M73 engine BMW 12. It's a little bit bigger displacement, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. It uh, has uh, double vanus and has Valvetronic. It has um, direct injection, just like an N63. It has a Venus, uh, yeah, double Venus intake exhaust. It has a vacuum pump. So anyway, about the problems. First problem is cooling system. You know you have to replace all these hoses, even though the client, the owner, decided not to do so and wait for the surprise. Yeah, believe it or not, people are cheap who buy these cars. They just want to show off. Anyway, um, this one also needs to be replaced because there is a filter inside and you know from older BMWs it has this problem. Um, the filter gets blocked and it kind of raises up the pressure and it might start leaking the hoses for the steering pump. Uh, of course, all the hoses needs to be replaced. Um, the thermostat already replaced. This hose likes to go bad, especially in this area. It might crack in there. Also good idea to replace the cooling tank, as you can see it's new, so it's already cracked before they already replaced it. I would tell you that it's a good idea to replace all hoses at once and do not wait for the surprise on the road. But some people think it's better not to do the preventive maintenance and wait for the surprises. You can easily overheat this engine in seconds if one hose bursts. Um, oil leaks. Vacuum pump, it's leaking. You know, replace the seals, I'm just saying it's a standard problem and it might look pretty bad um, the upper timing covers will also replace them on both sides um, the actual valve cover gaskets uh, the oil pan and something on the bottom it's not that common but it does leak of course so of course you can say like simply reseal the entire engine no but I just told you like the standard problems um, which is very common and they come first the rest of the stuff is quite reliable I would say the coolant pipe sometimes goes bad as well the one located in between the blocks um what else abs module goes bad just like on 7 series pretty much i can say same exact problems i like on 7 series um i think that's about oh well um direct injection like always uh, there could be carbon buildup injector problems and the coil coils and spark plugs of course needs to be replaced it's just better to do everything at once just invest it once and enjoy the car um, the transmission also needs to be serviced every like maybe 80 90 thousand miles even though it drives good I still recommend it to service it. There are solenoid problems The filter the gaskets they become old, you know, just simply become old and brittle and they are not holding the pressure And that's about it. I mean, it's not that complex to maintain this car. It's not that uh, expensive It's just regular BMW. So that's all I wanted to show you, but you can see it has um, a Rolls-Royce logo it's called Spirit of Ecstasy. Um, what else? The suspension, this ear right suspension, they do go bad. Yeah, that I would recommend you to take care of. Um, but other than that, in, in trunk shocks, they go bad, so the trunk cannot get open. It's a standard, standard problem with any seven series. Um, interior wise, um, oops, for that key. The interior wise is uh, is pretty good, you know. Uh, Standard audio issues like the amplifier, the ASK unit, everything is pretty much the same. The parking brake module also goes bad. The airbags, I mean, on this car, everything got fixed. You will deny that all the lights were on. And now we can only see the parking, parking, uh, parking uh, module problem. But I couldn't fix it because it's located very inconveniently. You have to drop the differential. There's lots of labor in there. And that's about it. I mean, this is just a 7 Series in, um, I would say, in a better shell, with a better interior, better leather and all that stuff. And it's way heavier and very bigger. It attracts probably more attention as well. 
So that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know.